सहनावतु सहनौ भुनक्तु सह वीर गर्वाहै तेजस्वी नवधीतमस्तु महाविदिषावै ओ शाति 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 नमस्कार स्वागत पुनरेक सप्ताह अंतिम कक्षा प्रति कक्षा प्रति अंतिम वर्ग प्रति भो मित्रण ज्ञाते भवदी सर्व यस्मस्पताह तृतीय तंत्र प्रारब्धम आसी काकोलुकुमी काकाूकाना त्र वैर कीदृश कि त्र वैर उत्पन्न आसीत त्र उल्लिखित अस्मिन् तंत्रे एक तंत्र पूर्व पठित तंत्र पठिताभ्या तंत्राभ्या भिन्नमे अस्त कथा वस्तु श्रीनिवास वी आर रीडिंग दि थर्ड तंत्र एंड आर गोइंग थ्रू दि कन्वर्जेशन बिटवीन दि किंग ऑफ दि क्रोज मेघवर्ण who is eliciting opinions from his ministers five ministers who have been his traditional ministers in the story how to avenge and retaliate the owls who are more powerful than the crows because owls have been attacking them at night and at night the crows are helpless being uh handicapped for not able to see during the night time and that is the time when the owl king used to hover around the tree and kill whomever whichever crow he came across so they are now planning and in the process the king of the crow wants to know the opinion of his prominent ministers in the process that we are yes rinvas adhya adhya tani kaksha sankhya hmm चतुर्दश चतुर्दशाधिक शतमी कक्षा चतुर्दशाधिक शतमी कक्षा क्लास वी स्टडीड अप टू एटीन पॉइंट then the first minister is speaking here the minister is uh, ujjivi ujjivi who is uh, giving his opinion and in the process of giving his opinion he says kuruvanni hi vaitasim vrittim we have already seen this word vaitasim vaitasim means relating to made of reed the attitude the behavior of the cane just as the cane bends when it is bent when there is a pressure on the cane cane can be bent comfortably so that should be the attitude when there is a weakness with a particular king king should bow down to the powerful enemy and then rise again like the cane rises and there are two attitudes here described here what is vaitasi vritti and another is bhaujangim in the previous bhujanga sambandhi and a king a weak king should not take to the attitude of the snake like the snake because he will be beaten up he will be defeated saying that furthering that kuruvanni i am reminded of this kuruvan huh? What is that mantra of Ishavasya? You know, Kurvan Neva Karmani, Kurvan Neva Karmani, Jiji Vishesh Chetam Sama. Like that, this yeah. poem is beginning. This poem begins with like that. Kurvan hi Vaitasi Murtim, following the attitude, the action of Vaitasi, that is humbleness. Vaitasi Murtim, Murtim means Murti has several meanings in Sanskrit. Murti means uh, the jivika the livelihood vritti means uh, uh, you also have the vivarana the explanation gloss commentary 
like so many vrittis and vritti also means action behavior so kurvanihi vaitasim vrittim since the word vritti is trilinga look at the visheshana used before that vaitasim vrittim so following or undertaking the submissive taking to the submissive mode of behavior prapnoti mahatim shriyam a king attains prapnoti labhate mahatim shriyam he gets a lot of fame i mean so fortune shriyam so kings if you speak in plural terms kings achieve lot of wealth adopting the method called the adopting the submissiveness when they are not very powerful kurvanhi vaitasim vrittim prapnoti mahatim shriyam bhujanga vrittim apanna on the other hand there is another vritti there is another behavior there is another way of action which is also described in the 18th poem that is called bhujanga vritti so vaitasi vritti is one bhujanga vritti is the second one bhujanga vritti vaapanna one who has taken to the attitude to the way of a serpent like the snake uh, very ferociously spreading its hood as if to bite the opponent vadamarhati kevalam so a king who is not uh well equipped to fight the opponent powerful opponent if he takes to the action of the bhujanga if he behaves like a serpent shows off his though there is no power then vadamarhati kevalam he only deserves to be killed he will be killed so one should be submissive when one is not well equipped to fight the enemy and then you when you gain uh, competence or power then you take the revenge that is the idea next read aurum sankoja masthaya praharana vimarshayet prapte kale ca madiman anutishthe krishna sarvavat so he is suggesting that chiraji uh, ujjivi here the first of the ministers kaurmam sankocham asthaya sankocha means contraction sankocha means contraction withdrawing kurma kurmasya yam kaurmam idam kurma shabda is there na kurma means tortoise from that kurma this is derived kaurma kachapa akaram kachapa kachapa also means kurma so kaurmam kachapakaram sankocham asthaya that means uh, taking to contraction contracting like the uh, like that of the tortoise when a tortoise is under threat what does the tortoise do tortoise is given as the example for even in the gita also so when the indriyarthas are there very uh, you know how to withdraw oneself one should withdraw oneself rather not how to one should withdraw oneself from the sensory objects like the tortoise withdraws its organs from any uh, un- uh, unfavorable conditions just like the tortoise withdraws itself and keeps itself safe under the shell like that kurmaanga uh, niva like we have that uh, i don't remember the shloka so kaurmam sankocham asthaya taking to this contraction behaving like the kurma or the kachapa or the tortoise praharan api marshayet marshayet sahet marshana means sahanam a king who is not well equipped who is very weak at the present moment should take on the beatings prahara means beatings attacks attacks of his enemy like what uh, contracting himself like a tortoise like a tortoise withdrawing its uh, organs its body inside the shell and then uh, any number of beatings on the shell will not uh, affect it like that uh, one should uh, withdraw oneself and take on the uh, attacks also praharan api marshayet one should put up with the prahara attack prapte kale cha but when time arises 
it is not that uh, you always take the prahara uh, beatings prapte kale sati when the time appears when the time arrives when the time of your attack arrives when your time comes matiman an intelligent king uttishtet he should get up he should rise an intelligent king should rise when the opportunate time arrives like what krishna sarpavat like a black cobra then you show your power first you take the beatings the attacks and then when the opportunity opportunate time arrives for you to take the revenge then you get up and attack like a cobra matiman uttishtet krishna sarpavat like a black cobra a dangerous cobra that means uttishtet means you should akramanam kuriyat you should attack then like a cobra attacks yes sir आगतम विग्रहम मत्वा तम सामना प्रशमुं नयेत विजयस्य अख्यनित्यत्वात रभसं च समुत्सृजेत बट दिस जीवी सीम्स टू बी सजेस्टिंग दैट कंसिलिएशन और ट्रीटी ओनली इज फॉर द ट्रीटी नॉट टू गो फॉर वॉर अदर थिंग्स आर आल्सो सेड एज वेल आगतम विग्रहम मत्वा विग्रहम आगतम मत्वा युद्धम आगतम मत्वा कंसीडरिंग द फाइट हैज कम अबाउट तम सामना प्रशमम नयेत सपोजिंग द फाइट युद्ध विग्रह इज युद्ध इज इनेविटेबल फॉर अ किंग हु इज नॉट वेल प्रिपेयर हु इज अंडर प्रिपरेशन हु इज नॉट रेडी टू वीकेंड नाउ राइट नाउ सो विग्रह आगत आगत विग्रह मत्वा विग्रह आगत मत्वा कंसीडरिंग दि फाइट हेज कम दर इज हेज कम टू फाइट देन तम विग्रह सामना प्रशम नयेत देन ए किंग शुड टेक इट टू पुट इट डाउन प्रशम नयेत मीन यू शुड काम डाउन दट फाइट यू शुड प्रेसिपिटेट दि फाइट प्रेसिपिटेट दि फाइट how samna samna means here through conciliation seeing the war uh, that is seeing the fight imminent here agatam vigraham means seeing the fight imminent there the king should avert it by efficient uh, means of peace samna means peace uh, because the uncertainty the second line says vijayasya hi anityatva विजयस्यवाजयस्यवाजयस्यवाजयस्यवाजयस्यवाजयस्यवाजयस्यवाजयस्यवाजयस्यवाजयस्यवाजयस्यवाजयस्यवाजयस्यवाजयस्यवाज
haste post haste haste only leads to waste twara nashayate karyam that is the idea there balina saha yodhavyam iti na asti nidarshanam there is no example anywhere set nidarshanam udaharanam ha balina saha yodhavyam iti is there uh, one should fight with the uh, stronger enemy is there any example given there there is no example na asti nidarshanam tatra nasti nidarshanam udaharanam nasti tatra balina shatruna saha yodhavyam iti kutra asti nidarshanam prativatam he is giving an example from nature prativatam nahi ghanah kadachit upasarpati like you take the example of the ghanah megha megha a cloud never goes against the wind in in the direction of the wind blowing the can never go never goes as such here he says the like the cloud never passes travels before the in the same direction of the wind prativatam means in the same prativatam means uh, against the wind prativatam in the direction of the wind blows nahi ghanah nahi megha kadachit never upasarpati it moves never a cloud moves in the direction opposite to the wind it goes with the wind and therefore there is no example also set earlier that one should fight with a stronger enemy like look at the nature natural example a cloud does not go against the blowing of the wind etc evam evam jeevi sama mantram sandhikaram ruptavan atha tat shrutva sa sanjeevinam sanjeevinam aha he bhadra tava abhiprayam api shrotum ichhami sa aha he deva na mama etat pratibhati yat shatruna sah sandhi kriyate uktan cha yatah now here we come to the advice end of the advice given by the ujjivi so far ujjivi has been speaking the first of the five ministers atha then evam evam in this manner ujjivi uh, the first minister sama mantram what is sama mantram mantram means counsel advice advice for conciliation leading to treaty sama mantram means advice for treaty sama mantram sandhikaram sandhikaram which leads to sandhi which leads to treaty sama mantram sandhikaram an advice of sama alliance leading to sandhikara leading to treaty kruptavan ha huh? yes elaborated atha then tat shrutva listening to this sa sanj sa means here the king mega uh, mega varna sanjeevinam aha then he spoke to the next minister sanjeevinam sanjeevi in prathama he becomes sanjeevinam guninam like in dvitiya live well as per our english translation live well he spoke to the sanjeevinam sanjeevi or the live well bhadra my friend tava abhiprayam api shrotum ichhami i like to know your opinion also then sa means he namely sanjeevi aha uktavan uvacha he deva oh my lord oh my king na mama etat pratibhati i don't uh, like this this does not uh, appeal me if you put it correctly in english na mama etat pratibhati this, this doesn't appeal to me yet because the reason is shatruna saha along with, with an enemy sandhi kriyate the fact that he is advocating alliance treaty with an enemy this doesn't appeal to me because it is said uktam cha he has his own reason no shatruna sahi sar shatruna nahi sandadhyat susleshtena api sandhina सुतप्तमी पावकम 
See, we have a saying, Srinivas Sukti, Munde, Munde, Matir Bhinna. Munde, Munde, Matir Bhinna. In each skull, in each head, there is a different <laughs> opinion. So, how well our Panchatantra also bringing about uh, the Kakaraja, Vyasa Raja wants to elicit, know the opinion of his ministers. One minister said Sandhi, another minister is outrightly opposing that. He says, Shatruna nahi sandadhyat. One should not ally, align with an enemy. Suslisthenapi. Suslisthenapi Shatruna. Though well formed, though the enemy uh, is well uh, formally or well formed by a treaty, uh, that, that is, Shatruna nahi sandadhyat. Suslisthenapi sandhina. This goes with Sandhina. Though well-formed treaty is there, even though the treaty is well-managed, Suslistena api Sandhina na hi Sandhadhyat. One should not align oneself with a well-made agreement with especially an enemy. Why so? Sutaptam api Paniyam. Look at another example from nature. Paniyam jalam. Su taptam api, though very heated, highly heated, well heated, su taptam, well boiled, boiled water. Su taptam api pani yam shamayati eva pavakam. One may say, see, this is the nature of the enemy, this is the nature of the enemy of water. Water is enemy to the fire. Even generally, what we say when there is fire, we put water over that. Even if the water that is poured over the fire to extinguish the fire, even if it is well heated, huh? even if it is uh, well heated, the water puts out the fire. Sutaptam api paniyam. Even the heated uh, water also, shamayati puts out, eva pavakam, it puts out the fire. That is the nature of the water. Water's nature does not change just because it is being made, uh, it is being heated up. Whether heated or unheated, water will extinguish the fire. Similarly, an enemy, whether uh, uh, treated like a alliance or not treated, he will arm you. No, I don't agree with you. you yeah. Moreover. Then one more thing he says, who is speaking here? The second minister, remember? Yeah, hmm? Sanjeev. Sanjeev, ah, Sanjeeva. Sanjeevi. Sanjeeva also we can say. One more thing, Sakruraha. Sa. Uh, who is Saha here? Who is that fellow? In the story? The Uluka Raja, Uluka Raja, Uluka Raja, the Owl King, Kruraha, very cruel, Atyanta Lubdaha, very, very greedy. He is cruel, greedy, Dharma Rahitaha, he is without any Dharma, Dharma Hinaha, he is without any scruples, any Adharmiki, he is totally. Tat, so, Tvaya Viseshat, especially with you, Na sandheyaha, he should not be aligned with. He should not be resorted. Tvaya viseshat, especially you, kaka, king, should not align, with, align yourself with that. Because it is said. Yeah. Satya dharma vihinena na sandhyat kathanchana susandhito pyasadhutvat Satya Dharma Vihinena. Because what is important here in this poem pointed out, Srinivas, is the character of the enemy. <laughs> Enemy's character also we should look to. Yeah. He's basically an enemy without character. <laughs> and what is character there? So he says, already he has said, na, uh, Kururaha, Atilubdaha, Dharma Rahitaha, and elaborated on that. Satya Dharma Vihinena. Satya Dharma Rahitena, an enemy who is without Satya and without Dharma. 
without truth who is untruthful who is very religious na sandhadyat one should not align himself katam chana never by by no means a king should align himself with a an, uh, with a king or with an enemy who is untruthful and religious su sandhitah api even if uh, uh, treaty is made su sandhitah api asadhutvat even if treaty is made supposing somehow the alliance is made treaty is uh, possibly made su sandhitah api huh? do well joined or will come uh, uh, come to uh, have come to the agreement su sanditah api asadhutvat because he is not a sadhu na asadhutvat because of his wickedness asadhutvat achirat in no time now at a particular moment of uh, time it so happens that uh, one is uh, Uh, able to make friendship with an enemy and how long this uh, alliance will uh, withstand will go on he says su sanditah api do well formed it is the treaty is formed asadhutvat because of his wickedness the very nature of the enemy king asadhutvat achirat in no time yati vikriyam he will change his mind the wicked enemy with whom one has made an alliance treaty will because of his wickedness soon he will change his idea and then he will attack you you will be at loss achirad yati vikriyam vikriyam nasham yati because he is wicked by nature nature is important that is what because he is so cruel already said krura atyanta lubdha dharma rahita etc tasmat srinivas तस्मादुद्धव्यूढ़ोदुखोदे Asmat, therefore, tena saha along with him, yodha vyamiti me mati he. He clearly comes out here. Therefore, yodha vyam should be fought. Tena saha, tena saha, tena krure na shatruna saha yodha vyam iti me mati. This is my opinion. Mati he means opinion. Like you have in the Gita, the final sloka of the Gita. Remember? Yeah. Yatra yoga shvara Krishna yatra partho dhanu dara. तत्र श्री विजयो भूति द्रुवा नीतिर मतिर ममा मति मति ही मींस नॉट इंटेलेक्टियर मति ही मींस ओपिनियन लाइक इन संस्कृत मति इज ओपिनियन मति इज इंटेलेक्ट एंड वी हैव अनदर वर्ड इदम मम मतम मतम आल्सो मींस ओपिनियन व्हिच इज जनरली अंडरस्टूड बाय अस एज रिलीजन सो रिलीजन इज अ ओपिनियन वंस ओन ओपिनियन आई आई बिलीव इन दिस पर्टिकुलर आईडिया सो आई बिलोंग टू दैट मतम so that way you have to understand so this is my uh, mati this is my opinion that he should be you should fight with him he should be fought uktam cha because krura lubdha alaso asatya pramadi bhiru bhiru what is that word bhiru astira bhiru bhiru astira sorry bhiru plus astira मूढ़ुद्धवेद्रिपुसेजिफेलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलोलो
If you take Yodhava Mantra means one who disregards the warrior. Here it means one who disregards the Yudhasya Avamanta Yudhava Mantra. Avamanta means neglecting. So, Yudhava Mantra Acha Sukho Chedyo Bhavet Ripuhu. No, the, all these are adjectival to Ripuhu. Kidrushaha Ripuhu, what type of enemy? Ripuhu Nama Shatruhu. Kidrushaha uh, Ripuhu, Sukena Uchedya Havati, Sukho Chedya Havati. Sukena Uchedya Havati, Uchetum Shakyati. Which is that enemy who can be uprooted easily? Sukha, Sukho Chedya means who can be Eliminated, who can be eliminated easily. Huh? Ripuhu, Krura Haripuhu, Ludda Haripuhu, Alasa Haripuhu, Asatya Haripuhu, they are all Visheshanas, adjectives to Ripuhu Shabda. Pramadi, Bhiruhu, Astiraha, Modaha, Yudhava Manta. Now, some words are very easier. Krura is Ludda, Alasa, Asatya, all you can understand. Akaranta Shabda. Pramadi. Pramadi means uh, Pramadin Shabda like Guni and uh, yeah. the other th things you can just uh, Yudha Avamanta Avamanta Inatentive Urdha Avamanta is Avamantru Shabda like Dhatru Dhata Dhata Rau Dhata Rukaranta Shabda hmm. and the rest is very good Sukho Chedya Sukhena Uchedya Bhaveti can be very easily eliminated he believes in that. Aparam. Aparam. Tena parabhuta vayam yagyadi sandhana kirtanam karishyamaha sabhuyaha api antam kopam karishyati uttam cha. Yeah, because he, he thinks here, uh, this uh, particular minister, uh, Sanjeevi. Sanjeevi, yeah. Sanjeevi minister, he thinks. Uh, Aparam, one more reason is there. Why we should fight our enemy? Tena paribhuta vayam. Tena paribhuta vayam. We have been defeated by him. Tena uluka rajena vayam kakaha paribhuta vayam jitaha. We have been defeated by him. Yadi 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 yad yadi. That uh, yadi, yad yadi, see the Sandhichyada Srinivas, yad, mm -hmm. that, the fact that yadi, if uh, sandhana kirtanam karishyama, the fact that uh, if we make, uh, put a proposal of a treaty before uh, an enemy who has already defeated us, vayam puramema paributa hatena, sandhana kirtanam, kirtanam is your proposal of sandhi, sandhi uh, kirtanam here. Sandhana Kirtanam Karishama. If we put a proposal before him, come on, we are going to have alliance with you. Sa, 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 Shatruhu, sa, Ripuhu, sa, Uluka Rajaha, Kururaha, Uluka Rajaha, Bhuya, again, Atyantam Kopam Karishat, he will get more angry. I have already defeated these fellows. They want to make friendship with me? <laughs> that is the Duktam Chat. Ari, Ari Mardana. Hmm, Ari Mardana, yeah. Sa Arimardana, Bhuya Atyantam Gopam Karishat, he will be highly, he will be raged like that. Chaturthopaya Sadhyetu, Riko Santvama Bakriya, Svedya Mama, Svedya Mama Jvaram Pragnaha, Kumbhasa Parishinchati. Then he is advocating from the beginning. Tena saha yodhavyam yodhavyam yodhavyam. He should be fought. Chaturtha upaya sadhyetu ripau. When an enemy is uh, confront, can be con an enemy can be confronted with the fourth remedy of the war measures. Chaturtha upaya. What is the chaturtha upaya? Sama dana bheda danda. Danda upaya. Chaturtha upaya nama dando upaya. Dando upaya na sadhyetu ripau. An enemy who can be engaged, who can be engaged with the 
made occupied who can be who can be i mean fought against with chaturtha upaya that means attack who should be dealt with other sadhya means chaturtha upaya dandopaya sadhye tu ripau santvam apakriya so there santvam this is appeasement is there na santva appeasement shanti charcha apakriya this is a bad thing where an enemy is fit to be engaged for war that is the first of where an enemy ripu is fit to be engaged in war santva santvam santva uh, that is shanti charcha shanti kriya shanti charcha apakriya it is a bad thing it is a bad thing swedyam amajwaram pragna kah kah pragna ambhasa parishinchati is giving an example here swedyam means swedena sadhyam amajwaram now here this this word should be understood carefully swedyam plus amajwaram amajwara is a fever coming uh, due to indigestion sometimes we get indigestion and as a result some kind of fever comes it is not a fever because of infection now the time is full of you know if anybody at the present time we are going through throughout the world if somebody gets fever then he is dreaded he becomes the most dangerous man if some infection is there but here is there jwara is there what is this jwara jwara called ama jwara srinivas ama jwara is explained as fever produced by indigestion srinivas and this can be controlled by swedyam swedena sadhyam if there is lot of pers- perspiration takes place then it automatically goes off it says well if some ayurvedic uh, people who are listening to that they know that what is ama jwara huh? pragna means which uh, intelligent doctor kaha pragna which intelligent man ambasa parishinchati who puts water over a fellow suffering from indigestion indigestive fever which can be otherwise cured with only by sweating swedyam swedena so that means why should you put here uh, the compromising attitude here santvana sama is not applicable here uh, this has to be treated naturally and that is natural treatment is chaturtha upaya dando upaya he says samavada sakupasya kshetro pratyut deepaka pratattasyev sahasa sarpishas sarpishastoya bandhit sarpishastoya bindavah the idea in the previous poem is that if uh, a fever can be managed with uh, automatically by sweat why pour water over it and then aggravate the situation why put forward a compromising uh, uh, appeal before an enemy and make him all the more angry that is there now samavadah sakopasya samavadah means here not uh, conciliatory words srinivas samavada means negotiating words uh, negotiating words. samavada sakopasya shatro sakopasya shatro to an enemy who is angry very already angry sakop kopena saitasya sakopasya shatro samavada on the other hand pratyuta deepakaha deepakaha bhavanti they become more you know what is deepaka i mean they inflame the anger more they enlighten the anger more already an enemy who is angry if you go and try to put a condition of uh, uh, this uh, appeal for treaty then you will be become more angry pratyuta uh, on the other hand deepaka samavadah sakopasya shatroho 
this order is Sakopasya Shatro, an enemy who is very angry with anger. Samavada, this kind of appeal, appeasement, or uh, what do you call uh, this kind of negotiating words, become Deepakaha Bhavanti. They become more enhancers. Deepakaha, inflaming. Prataptasya eva sahasa sarpishaha toya bindavaha. So he says, Prataptasyeva sarpishasa. Now here, you take this word. Pras, prataptasya sarpishas, sarpishaha. Visarga sandhi, sarpish. Sarpish shabda in shashti vivakti, eka vachana, sarpishaha. Grutasya. Let us take a simple word like, Prataptasya grutasya uh, toya bind, sahasa toya bindavaha iva. Now imagine you take a highly heated ghee, Srinivas, uh, heated up, well heated, uh, what do you call, uh, not ghee we call in India, in America, clarified butter. If there is a but, uh, clarified butter which is highly heated, prataptasya, prataptasya sarpishaha ghritasya toya bind, sahasa toya bind. Suddenly if somebody pours some water drops into heated up ghee, what happens? It will be agitating, na? It will be more agitated. Why only ghee? Even if you take oil and heated oil, <laughs> we have the common experience every day. Uh, when heated oil, if you, one drop or two drops of water falls into that, immediately there will be splash, agitation in the oil. And more like that. So already that fellow is angry. And you want to put uh, drops... Uh, this dropsy is very beautifully comparing, Srinivas. Sure. Water is uh, sama. Compromise. Hmm. Compromising words. That is why sama vada he said. Yeah. Sama vada, the conciliatory, appeasing uh, words will ang bring more anger to him. Like what is his condition is like the heated ghee now. Heated clarified butter. And you are trying to put water into it. Beautiful example is nice. So Yachay. let us not let us not please him. That is the idea. Yachaisha, yeah, go ahead. Yachaisha vadati ripur balavaniti tadapi akaranam yata uttamcha. So sahashakti sampanno hanya chaturam laguru guru yatha kanti ravodagu. And uh, our minister, uh, Sanjeevi, he is not agreeing with the opinion of the Ujjivi. Yacha Esha Vadati, Yacha Esha, Esha means this, this person. Yet the fact that Esha uh, Ujjivi Vadati, as Ujjivi has already spoken, Ripuhu Balavaniti. Our enemy, Shatruhu Balavaniti, our enemy is very powerful. Tadapi Akaranam, that is not the proper reason here. Because Yata Uktamcha, Sa Utsaha Shakti Sampannaha, Sotsaha Shakti Sampannaha, Hanyat Shatrum Laguhu Gurum. Now, this is a beautiful poem also. Huh? Sotsaha Shakti Sampannaha, this entire word is a Viseshana to Laguhu. Srinivas, Laguhu. Laguhu Raja, a small king. Laguhu Raja, a small king. But Sotsaha Shakti Sampannaha, if he is united with the energetic power, vigor, energy, Usaha Shakti. Usaha itself is Shakti. His enthusiasm itself is the power. If he is empowered, if he is energetic, if he is energetically empowered, if he is enthusiastically empowered, Laguhu, though he is very small, Anyat, he shall kill. Shatrum. What type of Shatrum he will kill? Gurum Shatrum Hanyat. Lagu, Laguhu, so saha shakti sampanna laguhu raja gurum 
बलवंतम गुरुम शत्रुम हन्यात में किल ए पावरफुल बिगर एनिमी हियर द टू वर्ड्स आर इन कंट्रास्टिंग हियर लघु गुरु हर यूज इन सीडी वर्ड्स लाइक इन छंदस मात्र लघु गुरु लघु मीन्स स्मॉल गुरु मीन्स बिग ए स्मॉल पर्सन कैन किल ए बिग पर्सन इन साइज provided he is been energized with his uh, he is been energized with his enthusiasm what example is giving yatha just like kanthi ravaha this is a name for simha kanthyam ravaha asya asti iti kanthi ravaha this line is called kanthi ravaha because in its kanta in its throat uh, it roars from its throat it roars in the jungle you know uh, beautiful poem coming to my mind kima peksha palam payodharan dhvanatah prarthayate mrugadipah bharavi mahakavi bharavi se kim apeksha payodharan payodharan meghan dhvanatah meghan when the clouds in the jungle in the forest begin to give thundering sound the lion thinks some animal has entered into my kingdom into the forest and it roars back it seems it gives equally powerful roar ravaha means shabda hasinwa kanthi ravaha kanthyam ravaha asya asti iti kanthi ravaha which roars with its throat when does the lion roar when it listens to the clouds thundering it takes it as a challenge and roars back that is why poet says kim apeksha expecting what ha huh? kim apeksha phalam kim phalam apeksha what expecting what result does a lion roar back in the forest listening to the thunder thundering sound of the cloud prakruti hi khalu mahi asam this is the nature of the great people na sahate anya samunnatim they don't tolerate another's uh, challenge or another's upliftment so that is the nature of the great people that they don't tolerate another uh, upliftment another's uh, challenge as such now the beautifully said na so that is the background of this word kanthirava srinivas and then yatha kanthirava yatha simha nage gaje naga shabda in our sanskrit class we have dealt with नगे भव नाग नग मीन न गति नग नग मीन मौंटेन पर्वत पर्वत नगे जाता भव दट विच इज बॉर्न विच जनरली एलिफेंट्स आर बॉर्न ऑन द मौंटेन रीजन सो इट गेट्स द नेम नाग सो नागे मीन गजे सुसाम्राज्य प्रपद्य लुक एट दि टाइनी बॉडीड लायन taking over the such a guru guru shariram guru shariram guru shariram what is that big sized animal that is elephant bruhat bruhat shariram yeah bruhat shariram yeah yeah guru i am particularly using this word guru guru shariram bruhat shariram only so just like a lion because lion is so saha shakti sampanna simha सोत्साह शक्ति संपन्न अस्तस्मा गजे साम्राज्य प्रपद्य ओवर दि मैटी एलिफेट सो ई डोट अग्री विथ दि अर्लियर मिनिस्टर्स ओपीनियन वी कैन टेक ऑन दि एनिमी शक्ति संपन्न फॉर दट राइडर्स ट्रांसलेशन आई फाउंड इट इंटरेस्टिंग द स्मॉलर ऑफ एन किल्स द ग्रेट श्रीनिवास लघु गुरु वॉच एट दट वर्ड लघु गुरु दि स्मॉलर ऑफ एन किल्स द ग्रेट बाय शोइंग एनर्जी एंड विगर द लाइन किल्स दि एलिफेंट 
and rules with unrestricted rigor. How beautifully poetically is translated. So I think to translate uh, Panchatantra like this, you must have been highly uh, imp impressed with the description, the narrative of uh, Panchatantra Srinivas. How beautifully poetically is done. The smaller often kills the great by showing energy and vigor. The lion kills the elephant and rules with unrestricted rigor. <laughs> This is the translation for the Sosaha Shakti Sampanna, etc. Now coming to this 29th poem. Mayaya Shatravo Vadhyaha Avadhyaha Syuhu Balena Ye. Ye Shatravaha. Ye is a pronoun in Sanskrit. It is called a relative pronoun. Yaha Yau Ye. Yad, that is Pratipadika is Yad. Yad, Yaha Yau Ye. Ye Shatravaha. Uh, those which an, uh, enemies, those enemies, ye shatravaha, ye shatravaha, th that uh, enemies, mayaya vadhya, vadhyaha, mayaya shatravo vadhyaha, avadhyaha siyo, ye shatravaha, avadhyaha bhavanti, those who cannot be assailed, attacked, those enemies, ye shatravaha, Avadhyaha bhavanti, who cannot be fought against, cannot be killed, cannot be uh, uh, avadhyaha vadhyaha means cannot be killed. Mayaya vadhyaha syuhu. Oh, sorry. Ye uh, shatravaha balena avadhyaha bhavanti. Those enemies who cannot be killed are put down by force, balena, that word I have missed. Ye shatravaha balena avadhyaha bhavanti. Those enemies who cannot be fought with strength, with using force, then they should be, they can be captured, they can be fought against. Mayaya chatravo, they should be killed. Mayaya vadhyaha, they should be killed with maya. So we have to use some maya there. Yatha, just like he is giving the example of the Mahabharata. Stri Rupam Asthaya, Stri Rupam Svikrutya, Hataha Bhimena Kija. Yatha, Stri Rupam Asthaya, taking to the form of a woman, huh? Asthaya, Bhimena by Bhima, Kijaka Hataha. Like you know the story of Kichaka. Kichaka wanted to. Uh, kept an eye on Draupadi Shairandri in the uh, I think Agnatavasa. This happens in Agnatavasa. The Kichaka, the brother in law of the king Virata, he eyes on Draupadi and then Draupadi tells her husband Bhima. Bhima says, Okay, you don't go there. I will go in the form of a woman and I will finish that fellow. So Bhima goes in the uh, in the garb of, in the garb of, in the guise of Draupadi, Sairandri, and uh, sorry, Draupadi. What's her name? In the, uh, Agnata was not Sairandri only? I'm mistaken. So he goes in the garb of the Draupadi, and then uh, Kichaka thinks that uh, Draupadi has arrived at the spot, and then Bhima finishes. Like that, uh, Mayaya Vadhya, they should be killed. Those who can't be killed with power, they should be killed with deceit, Maya, Tata Acha. Murutyo Rivo Pradhandasya Ragnyo Yanti Vasham Dvishaha Shashpatulyam Himanyante Dayalum Ripavon Rupam. This is all the Political science, huh? Rajaniti, Murtyo ho iva ugradandasya. Ragnaha, ugradandasya ragnaha, Murtyo ho iva vasham yanti dishaha. Dishaha, that is the subject here. Dishaha means the enemies, enemy kings. Vit, vishau dishaha. Shatravaha, dishaha nama shatravaha. Shatru rajanaha. Shatru Nrupaha, Vasham Yanti, they come under control. Ragnaha to that king, Ugradandasya Ragnaha, one who is very, uh, who is very strict in punishment, who is 
who gives intense punishment ugra dandasya severe punishment ugra dandasya ragna to a king who gives the severe most punishment mrutyoha iva like all people come under the fold of mrutyu there is no one in this mortal world who can say that no i don't uh, uh, succumb to death can anybody say all have to succumb to death only however great one may be well philosophy is there jata se ro mrutyu that is what here the idea is everyone has to succumb surrender before mrutyu like that ugradandasya ragnah puratah sarve dvishah shatravah vasham yanti vasham gachanti they all come under his control if the king is very uh, what do you call uh, great chastiser punisher if he is an intense punisher chastiser then people come to his control like people come under the control of the mrutyu mrutyo hoiva on the other hand if the king is not very strict shashpatulyam yamanyante dayalu mrupavo nunu ripavaha enemies of the king nrupam nrupam manyante they consider kidusham manyante shashpa trunatulyam yamanyante trunatulyam yamanyante kidusham nrupam dayalum nrupam on the other hand a king who is very dayalu who is very kind not very harsh they consider him as a blade of grass shashpatulyam they don't care him shashpatulyam nama tat grasatulyam manyanti no value dayalum rupam so don't be here uh, you know don't uh, let yourself be considered as a blade of grass here now let us attack him you be strict let us attack that is what is propounding ಯಾಜ the croaking more you know excited more because uh, tempting it is boosting is uh, moral here he say like the words are like that prayati upashamam yasya tejaha tejasvi tejasa a king whose tejas prayati upashamam upashamam means puts down yasya tejah yasya nrupasya tejah that who that king whose tejas brilliance go prashamam prayati whose prashamam nama nasham gachati adho gachati the king whose power goes down goes to waste tejasvi tejasa by a king by opponent king whose by the power of the opponent king tejasvi tejasa tejasvi tejasa by the brilliance by the power of the brilliant opponent king tejasvi tejasa is tutiya tejasvi tejasa shatruna yasya rupasya tejaha upashamam nasham gachati prayati that means a king who is subdued by his enemy in one simple sentence a king whose brilliance is subdued by the brilliance of his opposite king opponent king vrtha jate na kimte na matu yavana he is such a king is his life is waste vrtha waste jate na te na the very life of that king is waste te na jate na vrtha tena janmana vrtha by his very birth is waste kim matuhu yavvana harina what is the use of such a fellow who has taken matuhu yavvana harina who has taken out the youth of his mother that means a king who has been reared 
by the mother in her young age by all the taking mother takes all the pain to uh, rear the children and if one grows into an adult and if he cannot fight especially a kshatriya king who cannot fight his enemy what is the use he has wasted the youth of his mother that is what he said matur yavana harina tena jatena vrutha kim is a waste of his life uh, in mahabharata only we have that uh, famous sanjaya upakyana vidula upakyana sorry vidula vidula veeramata the story of vidula comes there uh, vidula there was a lady by name vidula who had a son by name sanjaya not sanjaya who narrates uh, dhritarashtras no and this sanjaya was defeated by an enemy king and he comes with face downward to his mother vidula and then mother asks him what happened i am defeated in the war she scolds him like anything and in the in the process of scolding her son she says muhurtam jvalitam shreya na tu dhuma itam chiram this is the most often quoted by all scholars muhurtam jvalitam shreya it is better to i mean give light for some time than to smoke away like imagine there is fire there is no fire only smoke is coming dhumaitam chiram chiram dhumaitam only smoke is coming what is the use of that smoke which comes for hours together days together muhurtam for some time jvalitam shay it is better to burn for some time than to smoke away it is better to live a enlightened life though short than to live for 100 years what is the use of living 100 years like you take the life of the vivekananda you take the life of the adi shankara you take several examples like abhimanyu who lived like no when they lived they lit their life they also lived for the people so that is the idea seen you know. some such thing is sounded here so what is the use of a king who has wasted his mother's youth <laughs> can we stop here yes sir shubham bhoyat punar milava thank you sir